All right, Meridian 4. Wit. Full control. And Steam, once again. Welcome to Frontline Tactics. I know it's kind of hard to see and everything else, but uh, going to play a couple of missions here as well as describe my own opinions on the game. Uh, it's free on Steam. There are things that you can buy because, well, all free-to-play games, there are things you can buy to try and keep the developer afloat. Um, I'm choosing this because of the amount of credits there are. And uh, First off, Rockin' soundtrack. Love the soundtrack. Soundtrack's awesome. Um, the mission types and everything else are kind of crap, but uh, that's what you get. Sorry to say. Um, it's an okay game. It's okay. Um, it's incredibly hard. You can kind of cheese it a little bit on the very low uh, settings, and it's really, really kind of easy on the very low settings. But uh, low and higher, yeah, I'm not just horrible at the game. Um, it's actually almost unfair hard sometimes. Um, there's a cover mechanic, which barely fucking works. I mean, it does work. It takes, uh, and uh, there's a range mechanic about damage. You can see the yellow, yellow is your close range. That one's in close range for the machine gun, but out of range for the USP. So, I couldn't really do anything about it. Um, there's a counterattack uh, thing, which works fairly well. It's, uh, you've got to unlock Overwatch, and it's got different things that you can unlock. But, um, overall, I, I don't get warm fuzzies when playing this game, honestly. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's really, really difficult. It's on the free side, so they want you to pay, uh, pay too much, or pay money to get, uh, points in order to advance. Um, that's, that's okay. Uh, but as you can see, I'm expected to kill about six, seven guys with two. And that's, uh, that's a difficult feat anyway. That's, my, my characters are dual classed and everything, so they're, uh, so this isn't exactly incredibly, incredibly hard. I'd probably just suck. But at the same time, I don't have armor for them. And a little bit of armor with the, uh, with the classes would be nice. Um, especially for... I mean, you can unlock armor for close combat, which uh, is dual spec on my uh, my sniper here. But uh, you can't do it for the machine gunner, the heavy machine gunner, uh, like my other guy who just died was. You can't unlock it for him. Also, grenades. You can't unlock grenades for all classes. Kind of a bummer in a way, but at the same time, I understand the decision. Um, yeah, I lost the area, I failed the mission. So, uh, also defend, defend areas. Um, that's a mission type you have to unlock, and I don't recommend unlocking it right away. I recommend getting better uh, people, more people, make sure that they're actually better. Also, um, I always tend to forget to uh, select the people before I click start, so you'll see that happen constantly. Okay, and a lot of the missions come down to luck, like this one. This one uh, comes down to luck. It all depends on if your uh, characters are not seen in your initiatives. Granted, my characters aren't exactly great on initiative, but they're not bad. And uh, I actually think uh, this should be a little bit better. Um, granted, I'm not complaining because it's free. It's actually got some really, really good graphics. The music's good whenever it's in there. Sound effects are awesome. It feels good to shoot people. It feels good to throw grenades. And for the tactics, it's actually fairly solid. 
Uh, crap, can't throw the grenade there. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit uh, hit and miss as far as everything else goes. Um, hmm. Can I just destroy someone with my sniper rifle first turn? Okay, move up just a little bit closer. Spot a new enemy. Cool. Um, also, the reason that uh, reason that I move up, there's always, always people right here in this uh, tent right here. Everything's controlled on the mouse, which uh, that's the right button. Everything else is left click. There is no keyboard input at all. That's the best one for my grenade, so I'm just going to throw it. Bam! And they're stunned. They don't get to move. Okay, he's close combat. Don't have to worry. He, the next guy I'm gonna see. Yeah, him. Pistols. Pistols can have grenades, but they're not equipped with grenades right now. So, um, I'm lucky. And, uh, sniper. Yeah, he's gonna just destroy someone. This is a bad day. This is a very bad day. Now I'm going to move back. Uh, camera doesn't auto readjust whenever your team is there. And action camera, I do like, I'm not going to lie. And uh, they do a really good job with it overall. Execution is very, very well. It's just hard. And I can't fault them for that. It's supposed to be a hard game. Uh, so, yeah, not bad. If you like uh, things like XCOM, give it a, sh give it a look. Uh, I haven't played multiplayer. I'm kind of afraid if I'm getting my ass whipped this bad on single player, I don't really want to see the multiplayer. Um, that grenade's going to do the massive amount of damage. That is exactly what I wanted. Oh, there's still the boss there. And he just killed two of his friends. Yeah, close combat automatically starts with a knife. Automatically. I think you can see something wrong with that. And I don't have a problem with starting with a knife too much, but whenever you consider that you're in a war zone and everyone else has pistols, like this, which will do that much damage or more on each and every mission, yeah, you consider that, um, <clears throat> You see why I uh, have a small problem with starting with a knife. If they had started with shotguns, I wouldn't have had a problem. But they started with a knife. Or if you could throw the knife, if it had a little bit longer of a range every now and then, that wouldn't be bad either. Um, but again, I'm critiquing on free game stuff. Uh, yeah. Also, the unlocks cost way too much, but that's to get you to buy their points instead of trying to grind it out. Which I kind of agree to, I understand, I don't have a problem with it. Um, they've, they've, gotta, they've gotta make money somehow. It's just, uh, they can bring down some of the unlocks. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you a little bit here. My record's not really that great. I'm 50 50, I think. Somewhere around there. Or 75%. Uh, you can unlock riot pads, strike vests. These are all the things that you can unlock for armor, but these are only on close quarters. The other two give uh, camo and lose initiative as well. Which aren't bad, but I still haven't really exactly found the use for camo kind of want to unlock this, but it would be better served not on my sniper. 
Uh, you can also unlock new guns, like the Silence USP, the Silence MP5, there's the uh, which is the sh only shotgun you get. And that's funny. The tier upgrades are not good. You also get, uh, for my small arms, this is what I'm talking about. You get camo, or you get, uh, or you get range extensions. You get, um, more armor piercing. Uh, once you get over here, I think once you get to the Falcon, you're done because your short range is maxed out, and, uh, and it's got the best short range out of all of them. You, you see, it's got... I think that with, uh, like, the AP ammo would work. Because the only thing that's different is the armor piercing. Um, yeah, I already mentioned that, but I think I'm just looking to see uh, what I should unlock and what I should work towards. I think the shotgun is the best here that you can unlock. It's got the best range and everything else. That with the strike vest, that would be done. Um, for machine guns, let's see, I've already got the, the AT ammo unlocked, which does more damage at short range. Or at all ranges, really. And uh, AP is the only thing that works there. Armor. This is my big complaint. 200,000 points for armor. That one has 10. I can unlock the same thing for close combat with 10 things. And uh, everyone's armor, or everyone's health is 80. Uh, you got perks. Unlock perks. Uh, some of these are like Overwatch. I want Overwatch. I want, uh, oh god, that unlock. Uh, see, it's because this one costs uh, 10,000 more than the last one, that that'll be more. Uh, look for my sniper and my other one. Uh, the lowest one is 10.5 again. And it's just, made the short range damage does two more. That's it. For that. Uh, long range damage does two more for just, yeah, for half as much. It's, it's a little unfair for upgrades and everything else. And a lot of them have tiers, meaning that you have to spend more. Um, Stealth would be nice. Uh, sprint would be nice too. I still want Overwatch and Headshot because those are awesome. Um, yeah, the rest of them can kind of go to hell. I guess I don't want them, but I'm going to need them to unlock. Um, yeah, I, I need the Strike Vest, but it would be so much better on someone else. And it's half the price of Light Armor. Well, that about sums up my feelings on the game and my opinion. Also, there's a reset game in here, but it's not in the menu, it's not in the options, it's actually up at the corner. And if you're going to play the game single player, reset's going to be what you're going to do. There's also multiplayer on the left, and like I said, this is, this is it for the game. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys later.